what we're trying to do with discourse strategies is to encourage kids to be able to think more deeply about science concepts. The chemical expression yeah. for either yeah. one, it just... We want students to construct their own knowledge. Yeah. And then you're going to just jot down to yourself on a post-it note your ideas about each scenario, the clues, and whether or not it's a physical or chemical change. So the strategy that we adopted today was to first start out with individual thought time so students can kind of process their, their own information. And then we move to a paired discussion. In the paired discussion, students wrote down their initial thoughts on post-it notes and then shared them with their shoulder partner. I asked them to use a set of discourse prompts or sentence starters that help them in formulating their scientific arguments. Then we move to a group discussion and the group discussion is where everyone at the table is writing down their thoughts, their consensus of their group discussion on a piece of chart paper and that chart paper is then going to be used as our tool for our next part of our discussion. So the last thing that we're going to do is we are going to rotate from one table to the other. So we're doing conversation or discourse, academic conversation or discourse between the different groups. So you're going to be looking at what your peers wrote on their chart paper and I want you to bring one of your sharpies and you're going to put feedback at each of the far right squares telling if you agree or disagree and what your reasoning would be. So in using rotating review, rotating review is a strategy that we use between different groups of students. In science, there are certain misconceptions that might occur in students' understanding of different topics. And students being able to construct their own knowledge and come to their own understanding is the best way to help to correct misconceptions. So in a small group setting, it might be easier for students to continue a misconception because they may only have two people in a group and they both decide to agree. But then when you start to share between groups and students start to realize that maybe what they came up with is vastly different from a number of the other groups in the class, then their thinking starts to shift. Don't say the specific gas, what did you see? When something fits And I wouldn't say it's more work, it may initially take a little bit more time in class, but the understanding that the children come up with in doing discourse leads to a lot less time spent trying to review and reinforce the topics later. Discourse is what leads to greater conceptual understanding. It really does work. It does not change the